so hello and welcome and in this video we are going to see uh, we are going to learn what are props in Vue.js and uh, what is the vbind directive in Vue.js and it will be very fun so let's get started so the very first thing that uh, I have done here is in the previous uh, videos you have seen how to create a new view project and uh, this view project that we have created Vemoji uh, and I'm just running it with yarn serve or npm run serve on anyone uh, you can choose any one of them so it will be on either of these ports and we are not going to learn that okay we have done that in the, uh, we have did in that video so this is our app.view component and our hello world.view which is I mean we are just importing it so let's take a look by the way if you want the syntax highlighting this won't come by default with visual studio code so you need to install an extension called Vitor by pine woo and this will give you many things like syntax highlighting snippet emit and i mean a lot of things so in the components in the hello world dot view um, this is the component don't get scared because this is simple html and uh, this is some javascript and this is some css okay so let's take a look right here as you can see we are passing in msg now if you actually take a look we are outputting welcome to your view jo view.js app okay and in the hello world.view uh, if you take a look at this h1 it says double curly braces and then double curly braces and then msg so basically this msg comes from props right here okay this props this is an object okay and uh, it says msg is gonna be a string so if you take a look right here in the hello world we are passing a prop that is named msg and uh, it is equal to uh, some string and prop is nothing but just like an attribute so you pass in an attribute and uh, it, it's just com component communication so it goes to another, another component the another component takes it and then uses it that's a prop so let's now uh, take a simple example for instance if I change this to my Vue.js app okay and if I hit save what it will do is my Vue.js app will go inside of here in the props okay and it will be stored in the msg variable and now whenever msg is outputted here it will actually output my Vue.js app as you can see so that's fine that's nice but i mean what about if you have any data right here okay so you maybe know of the data so we can create some data so for instance if I can uh, it returns an object I guess uh, okay so you can just say for instance name uh, is equal to something like John okay now f if you want this name to be passed in as a prop what you do uh, I mean what you can do then so let's first of all get rid of this MSG right here Okay, and keep this h1 empty and inside of here inside of the props let's uh, I mean let's just take it out I'll show an easier way to handle props okay that was an object now we are going to use props as an array so if you want this name to be passed in right here we use a directive called vbind okay so let's take this out and right here I can just say v hyphen bind v bind and then put a colon and then the name of the prop that you want so for instance I want the name I mean I want to use it right there okay in the other component as name so I can just say name is equal to a string and right here in this string you can pass in the name of the variable so that is name so I can just pass that in here and now basically this name variable or this name data is passed I mean is binded to hello world 
okay so now hello world can use this okay let me just save this file and right here in the let's create a props oops props and put a colon and we saw an object before so we are going to create an array now so in an object you have to pass in the name of the prop and also the type in an array you just pass in the name of the prop and that's i mean it's validated your prop is going to go there so the very first thing <coughs> sorry uh we have name okay so we are going we can just say name right here and hit save and right here i can just go ahead and say my name is and then i can put double curly braces and then inside of here i can just say name hit save and what you'll notice is my name is nothing why oh i forgot one simple thing that uh if you are using an array you need to pass it as a string so right here it will be a string okay with single or double quotes and save that and now you will see that let's refresh it okay so my name is john okay so this john is nothing but it's coming from here so that's the work of vbind and now you can use it for anything like for instance if i just change this to two a number okay hit save and you will see my name is two and if i change it to something like uh, true or false save this and you will notice that my name is true anything that you want okay any string any boolean any uh, number whatever and one more thing we can use a shorthand for this v bind and that is just a colon so colon and then the name of your prop is equal to the name of your uh, value that will give the same thing okay so most people prefer and use this uh, colon so as you can see it works and if you want you can just go to the view docs core docs and uh, let's see where are we learn I mean you can just search here for props and that will give you everything I mean tell you everything about props so as you can see right here um, in the props you can see we have the username in props is an object right here the username is also an object which has a type of string and then uh, something some more things okay so that is something that you can see you can take a look at the documentation you can just find it that how props work and everything so i'll leave this link in the description below to their documentation and finally if you like this video hit a like and subscribe my channel and if you want more vue.js videos then let me know in the comments below so now you can use um anything okay you can just put in data and everything you can use by yourself so if you have any confusions let me know in the comments below i'll try to solve them and finally thanks for watching